It's India versus Pakistan. Pakistan having won the toss and deciding to field first. Gambir the man on strike. Two slips in place. That's a cracking delivery. Uh, that's a kind of delivery that will trouble uh, most left-handers. He really had to play at that one. He's taking it. Good reaction from Mohamed Asif. Gambir was looking to smack him down the ground. He takes it on the second attempt. And Pakistan strike early. Bottom Gambir gone for not India. None for one. And straight away on target, uh, Mohamed Asif. Uncomplicated, just hitting the deck on that good length spot. First runs on the ball. India one for one. That's flipped away in style. First boundary of the game. Typical Sevar. Wristy flourish sends the ball on away. Bowled in off the inside edge. Two wickets and two overs for us. If we struck twice, India in a spot of border nine for two. And now three slips in place, and uh, Shoaib Malik doing the right thing, going for the kill. Keeping the pressure, the ball is uh, nipping around. He's got that away. And it's not that quick an outfield, but it'll still reach the boundary. That's a good strike. That's where he's good, Utapa. Doesn't mind taking the aerial route, but uh, he's at his best when he looks to play straight. So Mohamed Asif into his third over. That's shift in the air, should be taken. It's off the leading edge. Jugrat goes, Shoaib Malik, the captain, making no mistake. And India now in trouble. Well, you can see the ball is uh, moving around off the seam. That's pressed away. Gave himself a bit of room and smashed it to the offside it's 28 for three and you have to overcome all the conditions it's gone wide it's too high too high that is superbly timed just for a while you'd have thought that it's it might carry they'll pick up two from Utapa. He got his hands to it, but that was firmly struck. Dhoni comes back for two, that's good. Uh, from India's point of view, you've got two quick runners out there. And you can see just on the tip of his fingers. It goes again. Powerfully struck, beats the man at long off. Second boundary of the over. And again, cutting it from the stumps. Uh, a good over for India. 12 runs of it. 12 gone. It's 82 for four. And now Tanvi goes past the outside edge. In fact, takes the outside edge. 
Yes, so Pakistan striking straight off the brick. Well, that's in the gap. Pulled back inside the boundary. Backing on a fast bowlers to do well, and if he can bowl good areas the way they would, would be able to produce some good results as well. That was a fantastic stroke. And these are the kind of strokes which can really encourage the Indian stringent hair. That's massive from Irfan Patan. Incredible hit. The attempted leg spinner from Shahid Afridi and it was deposited up in the top tier by Irfan Patan. That's another massive hit, another six. He's not worried about Afridi's variation, he's just down the wicket, no nonsense. Back to ball, straight in the crowd. He's gone, Patan's gone, going for a third one. 100, India 111 for six. Great shot from the Indian captain, Ninda Singh Dhoni, as the rain comes down. It's six, it's flat. Miss Umar goes stretch. India on a roll here, three sixes in two overs. Oh, just come back and strive a Freedy. Has taken a wicket with his first ball after the rain break. So disaster for India, Harbhajan Singh, he departs. That's a wonderful strike from Ajit Agarka. That's up in the air, will this be taken? It's a wet ball and cleanly picked up by Yunus Khan. They had their best fielder patrolling the boundary line. Dhoni goes. Direct hit and he's gone. Karman Akmal hitting the bullseye and hit it when it mattered most. India got a bit of lift from Robin Utapa's 50 from just 39 balls. Pakistan need 142 runs from 20 overs. Not with balls like that, that's for sure. Wide signal by umpire Billy Doctroven. In the air, in the gap, and the first boundary. Imran Nazir is off the mark with style. Well, that was a slow delivery, well spotted by Imran Nazir, but the execution wasn't that great. Not quite middling the ball, getting the inside edge. Three, so and three that runs. Inside edge. And they're leaping up. They are failing to the umpire. And the umpire is looking at the, at the non striker umpire whether Dhoni was able to catch it cleanly. And they're giving it not out, so. Well, the decision already has been made by the officiating umpires on field. It was just a matter of time. The way he was swinging his back, one good delivery was always going to do the trick. First wicket for the Indians. And the bowler is not learning. Once again, testing the batsman with a short dish delivery. And this time, the result is different. It's six runs. Nicely played. Full pause on his toes and nicely worked away for four runs. Another smashing drive from Salman Bhatt and brilliantly fielded at mid-off. It's Irfan Pachan with that lovely stop. Six gone, 39 for one. Edge and taken by Dhoni. The finger has gone up. Salman Bhatt was struggling to counter that off stump line in the end. Next one to Dhoni. 
Another wicket goes down. Pakistan now 44 for two. And he's on target. Chance directly. Gotta go. This time it's you, Watson. Kamran Akmal lost the block. India have picked up another quick wicket. In fact, and hit the club, and Irfan Patan is off the mark. This is good cricket from India. They've been very bright in the field, and this is uh, what Irfan Patan needed. That'll run away as well. Doesn't matter how they come, but that was a fine delivery. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? 69 for 4. Well, that'll help. That'll help. They need more of those. Up. Field that under it. Taken. Pakistan lose one more. Pakistan 87 for 5. It down. One man had to call really loudly. I'm sure Harbhajan would have reached there, it would have been easier for him. That's adding insult to injury. Smash back pass out of the, into the fence. That's on the air. Karthik making no mistake. And uh, the Terminator gets his man. A 3D departs. Pakistan just losing their way now. And that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. And it's gone the distance as well. You saw in the game against Scotland. They played a very handy innings low down the order. He goes again. And then again he's found the gap. Will get the boundary. It's a good finish, six and a boundary. It's heaved away on the onside. Uh, this is uh, some good uh, deliveries for Pakistan. Three, a six boundary, and now another boundary of the last three balls. That's clever. Very clever. Gets the boundary. And just the single. What will help Pakistan is a boundary or a six of the first three balls. One has been bowled. That's a terrific shot. One bounce over the rope. That's a terrific fight back. Once and again, that sort of a game. Once again, a length ball and smashed away. Go for one. Run for the second. Get it easily. Seven runs to get. Three balls to go. That's gone through. Just one needed for Pakistan. The scores are tied. Pakistan know they can't lose this. Once the single sent back. One to go, one run to get. Only the bowler and the keeper in that case, but just one needed for Pakistan. Miss ball strike. They go for it. There's a chance of a run out. And he gets it. The match ends in a tie. What a finish to an India Pakistan game. This game at top winning. And it's ended in that fashion. There'll be a toss. This time it's Shoaib Malik spinning. It's cold. He hits. <laughs> India open their account. Pakistan, and he misses. <laughs> the crowd getting into it. He hits. 2 0 India. That's 2 0.
could be a just to remind you, this is cricket, not soccer. Two zero, India. <laughs> Zutapa. He hits 3 0 India. Pakistan had to hit with all their remaining deliveries if they have to tie this. Missed it. India have won. And have a look at the celebrations. So that's the story of the game after Shoaib Malik won the toss and asked India to bat first.